So we had a rabbit come in who was completely stuck to this very deep and unique glue trap that I haven't seen before. The poor thing was completely unable to move. It really upsets me when I see these kinds of traps. They're stuck there for hours. It could even be days. The animal struggles. They get stuck on there. They sometimes will break their own limbs. They'll tear their skin. They can even suffocate in the adhesive. And if none of that gets them, the animal will just struggle until they're exhausted and they'll eventually pass away from dehydration or starvation. And obviously that is a very, very cruel way to pass. Oh my God, it's so it's really thick. Oh my God. So a glue trap is something that people typically buy in order to get rid of what they deem pests. So that can be anything from bugs to snakes to rodents, like mice and rats. Um, they're these little plastic strips or containers that essentially have this adhesive in them and the adhesive is really intense and unfortunately these are very indiscriminate traps anything that can walk into them will get stuck in them so when we get a patient in that's stuck on a glue trap first and foremost never try and do this if you're not trained the animals are very stressed you can cause much more harm or you can get bit by them we try and do it as quickly as possible with the least amount of stress. Typically, a great way to break down the adhesive is by using like a vegetable oil and we'll either place that directly onto the adhesive itself or with a Q-tip or a towel, something to just help us get the animal off of the adhesive. We might have to then bathe the patient to get either the oil or the rest of the adhesive off of them. It depends on the patient. Sometimes we can do what's called a dust bath as well, instead of having to actually put them in water with soap. Um, either tends to work and it will really depend on the species. For him, we were able to remove him just with a little bit of oil. So once he was removed, uh, really all he's gonna need is a little bit of a dust bath after this to really get the rest of the oil or any leftover adhesive off of him. And obviously a lot of breaks, it's a very stressful thing to be caught on there. So once we remove him, he's just gonna relax for a little bit. We'll give him some sub fluids fluid to just rehydrate him and ensure that he can handle the next steps in his care. We expect him to be a rather quick turnaround. This is a very lucky individual. I feel very fortunate to be able to help an animal like this. It can be quite emotional. Unfortunately, glue traps are legal in Canada, which personally I find to be completely unacceptable. Just knowing that no matter what it is that gets caught in these traps is going to suffer tremendously for long periods of time is just completely inhumane and they really should not be used. And so when you get one where you can help them, it's like instant gratification, it's instant just makes you feel good and know that this animal is gonna have a chance thanks to the amazing finders who find these animals and bring them into us and get the care in a timely manner. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell to be notified when we share new content. We would also love if you shared this video with a friend.